There. What? Okay, what are we doing here, Tatro? Another day, day two. We're working on that right On here. a 45 trans rebuild. Oh, I think he's getting close to the food. Do you think he figured out where it is yet? What'd you find there, Scooby? He's trying to be a good boy. He found it. Did you find it? Somebody's feeding them too rich. Those look actually like pretty good pieces of steak. What, these? Yeah. He's trying to be nice. He knows where my fingers are. He likes these ones good. Dog beef jerky. That's all you got by that big tooth? Yeah, there you got the front teeth doing there. There you got it that time. Yeah, he's good to go now. All right. Now we got real work to do. Good boy. He's happy now. We're all mocked up. We're all. Let's see. I was watching the videos last night when I was uploading them at five in the morning instead of sleeping. And that gear, where'd that weird gear go? That one we didn't know what it was. Oh, yeah, the, with the teeth all the way around? Yeah, where is that piece of crap? Well, I was there? laying up there, I think. Yeah, I don't see it. What'd you find out? Move. Let there me back up here. There's over this box here. There's over this box. This gear. There, Scooby's going on it. He's going to eat it. It's gone. Scooby ate it. So, the reason it looks weird is because it is weird. Where'd it come from? It came out of your four-speed transmission kit. Oh, oh, no kidding. Here's the Harley gear. So what does that mean? See the difference in size? Yeah. It's different size than Harley. It's their gear. That's why it's all the way around. It's what gear? It's their gear. See on their shift drum? Oh, okay. See how it's bigger diameter? Oh, this? all right. So this had to be made smaller. Oh. Otherwise, it wouldn't work, see? Huh. Well, so I'm glad that's why I didn't recognize it. I'm it was, glad you figured that out. It wasn't a Harley part. So, yeah, once I saw it in the video, oh, shit, I know what that is. Damn it. <laughs> it dawned on me, oh, you know, flash of an eye. I don't know why they don't mark him very well, though. Shit, I guess you're on your own for a Is time. that steel, or what is that? Yeah. I got kind of like a something put right there you can barely see. I guess that's the timing mark. Can't tell if there's a nick or a mark on the gear. <laughs> you think they'd put a flat spot or something on there? Well, it's only got to move a quarter turn, doesn't it? No, it moves quite a bit. Yeah, I don't see a marking on there that really sticks out. I guess that's about all the extent of what we're going to get. Like everything on this tranny, it's all figured out on your own. We don't care. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you're getting it. There's no timing marks, so we're on our own. All right, we're going to work on this here. Because Alan thinks we should have this done after the third day. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I don't know what Somebody to say. Somebody want to know if this was my transmission. No, this isn't my damn tranny. No, this is the... Uh, Whose tranny is this? This is the test bed. Whose tranny is this? Test bed. I guess it's mine. We're working on it. Yeah. But we're building two of them. This one. I thought I talked about the different shifting aspects between what I would do and what you would do. And one for your uh, See, race bike. They weren't, so. they weren't paying attention. So. Well, all right. Well, you're going to have to explain that in yours. I, I did explain to it earlier. All right. Yeah, but as you're setting yours up, you're going to have to explain why. So we like to set stuff up correctly around here so it actually works. So if Alan ever does ride it down the road. Well, I'll be riding it down the road. It'll, it'll live. It'll work. It's just that you're the ultimate imperfectionist. This thing is absolutely perfect. I mean, I hey, you know what? Now that we've got that apart, did you want to dress that up? Dress a, up. a little bit on the bottom of that case? What? Where that gear clearance was? 
thought I cleaned up your case. Well, I know, but did you want to go a little bit more or no? In here? Yeah. No, I already got everything in here. Oh, okay. All right, I'm just asking. Nope, we, we, went, we blew by that one. Okay. Well, it clears. It just, you know. It'll clear us itself. It right. is. Yeah, I'm sure it will. At least it's free. Yeah, it's okay. fine. No, I'd have to clean the whole tranny again. I, I got you. I got you. I'm not that picky. I didn't mean. I'm just saying. You just want me to work more. All right, what goes next? Don't lose that washer. I can I put that right there? I heard a ding-dong. What was that noise? Yeah. Yeah. Did you find your filler plug? No. Uh, I don't have any See, parts. You're, you're right I haven't been home. You're right on it. Man. No, and I have. Well, if I buy another one, then I'll send you the other one back. So you, you took all of those parts, and you left them. I... We we home. spent half the day sorting that stuff out. You're going to come back and work on it here, but now it's going to be somewhere else. Well, someone in the end said they'd like you there. So. They would like me there? Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why either. I have no idea why they... Does she have a... Do they have a sister? I don't think she had a... Uh, <laughs> it looked, it's had like a male name on it, so... Yeah, well, I'm not... If he's got a sister, introduce me. <laughs> so, short uh, of that, I'm not sure what's Oh, going. all right, well... I didn't think he was from California, so you're probably okay. How'd that um, uh, cover come out back there you painted? Uh, I don't know what that is. I haven't seen it. Okay, we haven't been back there yet. That was uh, the off-camera. Oh, that's camera, right. So. We didn't we didn't film that yet. Yeah, we did that uh, late night, early uh, morning. We did that yeah. first thing in the morning. Yeah, today. Yeah. That was today. That was today is this morning? Yeah, 14 hours ago. Yeah. That was, that was like 2 a.m. Should be dry. That was 2 a.m. this morning or 2.30. Right. I think it was about 2.30, wasn't it? I forget we blew out of here finally last night. Okay, this is a gear. We're not using this one. This is going to be the one from my bike. Okay. And then I'm going to butcher it and cut it down. We're just not sure how far yet. Um, okay, I need this. You know, while this is all fresh in your mind, you should build your trans. Yeah, but I have customers that want me to actually work on their stuff, so. All right, well. Remember them stroker motors that were up here on my bench? Yeah, I do. I actually kind of want to get back to those. All right, I'm with you. They've been there as long as I've known you, so. You actually like those motors? I know you do. <clears throat> okay, I need two thick-ass washers. They resemble this. That's one. Where's the other one at? That yeah, looks like two. Look at that, we're doing good. Okay, now I'm only missing one washer now. I'm thinking it's not this one. But I don't recognize this one. But it fits in there. That's way thicker than it should be, I think. But that must be the one. Okay, so these two go on the left. Bearings go right here in the middle. These two go on the right. Bearings go in the middle. Now see how loose these are on the shaft? Why so? Because they're just made loose. Now this shaft doesn't rotate, but these do a little maybe. The main shaft's turning all the time, so if you have a loose wash on there, it's going to eat itself up a little bit. That's why those custom ones we're making over here, we got to make better. Okay, I'm assuming we're going to put new bearings over here because we want new shit. So, we need some 90-75s and some 90-90s. Here's a 90-90. Those might be 90-75, they're not marked. 9076, 9075 standard, there we go, one bag left. Now V20's running out of all these parts, so I've been buying up all the rollers that they have. I don't know why they're discontinuing rollers. I guess they figured they can sell you a gear set, they don't say any parts to put it in training, they don't give you any instructions, so you're, you're fine. Shouldn't have any problem. I don't see and... Any like you said, they really don't care. Yeah, they don't have any I problems. mean, it'd be different if they care, but... Yeah. That's a whole other problem.
What's our friend next door's name? I forget. The fella that's in here. What? From the welding shop. Uh, so... He's the owner, right? It's Lorenzo. Lorenzo. He's a great guy. I was hoping to catch him over there. There's two Lorenzos. Well, the one that one's you... One's Mexican, one's a black guy. Oh, I'm not talking about black Lorenzo. He's a good guy, too, but... He's like eight feet tall, and the other one's like five and a half foot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Black Lorenzo, he's a big man, yeah. He's a big boy. <laughs> he's a big boy. Is that that $150 tub grease? No, no, this is a cheap crap. This is Champion's Choice. Yeah. That's why you when use it. we run it. out of this, we're not going to buy another of it, though. Oh. Remember, I think this came with the El Camino. It looks all right. So I'm not sure how old it is, but yeah, probably Yeah, well, old. probably a million years old anyway. They, they probably haven't made this in 20 years, but we have some. So we're going to use it. Doesn't seem to dry up. I'm just hoping it dissipates with the oil, with the oil in there. Well, especially since we're running that expensive oil. That's right. Okay, I should have done this side last, not first. Okay, so this goes inside of this side here. That should fit in the hole. Now tell them again, that's the V-twin four-speed gear cluster, correct? Well, this is actually the Norwegian four-speed gear set. Oh, it is. It just V-Twin sells it, huh? V-Twin is selling in the U.S. Okay. You can probably buy it from direct if you want also. Didn't we get it from, from Norway? W and W Cycle over in Netherlands has all this crap listed. Some was made there, some's made in Germany. I'm not sure who makes who. W, w Cycle? W and W Cycle. They make the ignition conversions that V Twin don't sell no more that I'm gonna play around with on my stuff. Oh. Get rid of the old point distributor. Well, I think the point the fact that oh, uh wrong one. you like this uh is pretty interesting. Like what? Well, that you would, you know, take the opportunity to change this like that. Well, you need a four speed in here. I designed one for a college project, but they wouldn't let me build it. Really? Well, like I said, I'm just saying, you're such a purist for... Uh, yeah, I bought all the tooling to cut the teeth and everything. They wouldn't let me cut the metal. Really? Yep. Huh. I could cut aluminum, but not steel. So I need a sample for stout of aluminum for, uh, for my project in college. And you everything. should have had that patented. Whatever. It was all written in uh, the first CNC code back then, which is... Manual code. Took you a month to figure out all the tool paths. So are you impressed with the quality of this or no? I mean, we've had to massage a few things, but... I have no idea the quality of the parts. We won't know that until we can run it. Until, or not until I run it. And not what... You. Well, you okay. use it hard enough. And what, um, what was the price on that? I forget. About a thousand bucks, wasn't it? Nine some. Yeah, it's in the nines. So you get the shafts, the gear clusters? You do get the shaft, yes. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> you do get the shaft. <laughs> no, the band and counter shafts are all extra. <laughs> That's another three few hundred dollars more. Really? <clears throat> okay, so I put the bearings in there. So that's the standard. So now we're going to drop this in there and see how it fits. It went in, which is a plus. Okay, see how loose this is? Mm -hmm. That's not a good tolerance. See how, see but how you turning. don't have the bearings in that side yet. Well, that's how you tell. See, oh, see how I loose see. It is? So that's pretty loose. So, I don't like that fit. Put the bearings over here. Just like we did the clutch yeah. gear over there? Yeah. Just, yeah, trial and error. Yep. So the old way of doing it. You have different rollers and you trial fit and when it feels good, it's good. When it don't feel good, it's wrong. So you go next size up in the bearing. If it doesn't fit, and then you drop back to that one. But at Simple. least you know where you're at. Yeah, you tried to make it work better. That's right. 
Star hub the same way. Right. Mm -hmm. Just put bearings in there and call it done. Like everybody thinks that's how you all you do. You put standard in there and it's perfect. Even Not got, true. Even though it's got five thousand clearance in the damn things. Huh. It's all pitted to hell, but they think that's perfect. Here's the ninety ninety rollers for over here. Why would it? See, it's marked ninety ninety one. It's got ninety ninety parts in the bag. Wonderful. This has ninety ninety ones on the so It's marked ninety ninety one too. I'm about to get on a packaging guy around here about this. Obviously, that was a mix-up. And that would be you. <laughs> I'm gonna have the boss get right on him. You know, I got a feeling that when these folks, the folks see these videos, you're going to get some business for transmissions here. And how many hundreds of dollars am I going to charge to do this? I don't know. You're going to have to streamline a little bit. Streamline it? Well. You mean do inferior work? No, I didn't say that. I, oh. You're just going to have to figure out how to work smarter to provide a quality product. Because oh. there's a desire for a quality product. Especially in a transmission, I would think. So taking three months to put the train together is not up to your speed. I didn't listen. I <laughs> I know how it is around here. You're a one man shop. I'm just saying you're going to have people that are going to send you their transmission because they're tired of it being you know worn out or clunking or banging or whatever they do. Send the one on my military bike, they'd be happy. And like I said, these other couple of that you're going to put together here are uh, going to be desirable. Hey, those all fit in there. Okay. okay. We want to make sure the rollers rotate in here. So that means they're not too tight. Okay. Let me try this one more time. See how it dropped right in? Better. That was four tenths up. Look at the difference. It's still loose. We still don't like it. We still don't like it. And this is all new parts. So we're up to, those are four tenths over. So that's eight tenths bigger. I took out eight tenths clearance. The rollers are four tenths bigger than those rollers. Okay, now I gotta go to the big rollers. Where are those at? Touch something. Okay, so what's after 9091? 90-92? <laughs> Who would have a collection of rollers like that? Me? Nobody else in the world. Start pulling out some old stock now. Well, you don't have stuff laying around like this? I got nothing. You can't do anything, you ain't got no stinking inventory. You depend on anybody else to do your shit for you, you know what I'm doing, John. 75. Okay, well, they're not in that group. That's the stuff I bought probably 10 years ago. Okay, what's in this pile? Alright, this pile here is from way back. And this pile here is from the 80s, probably. This is stuff we used to sell at the salt mill here. Okay, yeah, these are the bags we used to sell at the salt mill back in the 80s. Okay, those are the big fat ones, they're 86, but that's not, the, that's not the one I'm working on right now. There's the 9090s, these are 9070. Okay, so, what do we got in here? One over. That'll fix the problem. And one, eight over, that's eight. So we got a clutch screw in there, we're just going to go right to the one. These still have some petrified grease in here, so they're not quite. They're going to be a little bit tighter than they should be. The right quantity. Yeah, 
come over there for a second. Do what? Do what? Okay. Oh. You get for change anyway, so. Oh, I didn't know which. I don't know what you're saying. I'll clean the parts. Clean the junk off the rollers. Yeah, you got uh, you false reading. Yeah, it'll be tight and notchy. See, now they look new again. Out of grease. For a new load of grease. Almost like I'm bleeding. I don't have that rag I had. I'll find it one of these days. Oh, there it is. Been all over the shop. There it is. Found it. I don't see where I can find it now. I knew I had it out here somewhere. So if you use standard bearings on the brand new parts. And standards in the one over is the biggest one they make. What do you do after that? Build a new shaft, a bigger oh. shaft, I'm guessing, huh? <laughs> well, they had two different shafts to buy a B20, remember? Oh, yeah. You have to buy the other shaft for another hundred and whatever the hell dollar they get for the damn thing. And hopefully, it's bigger. <laughs> Might be smaller. This probably won't take all the rollers in this one. Yeah. There ain't no way you're putting the last one in there. Yeah. Bet it's stuck to itself. Hey, don't mix that roller in. Okay, is it gonna fit? I'm guessing it's going to be perfect. Perfectly tight. Boy, that's amazing how you can just close those tolerances right up. That's too tight. It's not going to go. That won't break in correctly. No. No, it sure won't. That's one thou over roller, but it's two thousands total sizing increase because it's one thou per side. So that's a two thou difference. So we know we have less than two thou clearance, but not much less because it was trying to go in. It was just tight. Okay, so the next one, we're going to put the 8 in there, which is 1.6 thou bigger, because the one, the 4s are 8 tenths bigger. And I don't know if they offer a 6. In the smission, they don't give you every 2 tenths like a motor. They only give you a few different sizes. So those are the 4s. Ooh, they, do. they did make a six. There's some right there. There might be enough to do one motor. Four. So it looks like in the old days they actually did make them every two tenths, but try finding them these days. Good luck. Okay, so which ones are these? 90, 90s. Those are standard, those are fours. Okay. In case you get confused. Okay, so now I'm going to try the eight tenths there. Now, 8 is going to be 16. We were pretty tight on that, so I don't know if it'll later go in there. 8 would probably just slip together, but it should have almost no clearance on it. So that might be a little bit too tight. Thought I heard somebody at the door. There's a truck out there. 
that brand new Chevrolet. Oh, so that's what it sounds like, so I know when he's leaving? Oh, I don't know. Is That must be Lorenzo's truck. Well, I don't think so. Well, either that or one of his working guys. Brand new truck? That no. brand new Chevy, that thing is nice. Gasser. Somebody has some money. But that thing was still 50 grand. Yeah, well, that's why I use my Dakota. Cheaper. I think I got 2,500 into it. <laughs> that's expensive for me. I used to pay so much money for vehicles. I think these are going to be too tight, but I think the shaft will go in, though. We'll see. These are pretty far out having to go this big. Look at that. That's what we like. It's tight. That's, that's snug. Clearance. It'd be nice to have a couple more tents in there. But if I'm wearing the high spots off the roller, see how they're getting a little bit looser. Mm -hmm. There I am, starting to loosen up. I'm happier now. It's starting to, starting to get a little, a little bit looser. Yeah, see how it's getting, it's getting nice and loose now. That's good now. So it's nice and loose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No drag. And you got clearance. If you can hear it. Yeah. Hmm. You know it's good. All right. So we went eight tenths over on, or yeah, eight tenths over on that bearing. It's pretty big. But real, in reality, that just means the shaft was made small. It means the shaft was too small and the gear is too big. Okay. But that's where you can compensate it with the different bearing. That's why you have different bearings. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So I had to go to my third group of bearings to get that size, though. I'm going to go all the way back to the 80s bearings. Get to deal with the the other ones. That's the one over. Those are one over what? Is the ninety ninety out already? got to the bearings I just bought. Those are the ones that were in that box over here. There's that bag. There's a whole bag I just bought. I bought everything V-Twin has left. I forget. There's another pile of bearings I bought. You can never have too many bearings. Because when you need them, you need them. 
Okay, so so that's no good, that's no good. So this was a 9090. That's on the right there. So these are pre-lube now. At least they won't rust. Yeah. We're using the trap door. These were the old ones over here, I think, weren't they? Yeah, those are the high gear ones. Well, there's the new 9090s. These are the ones for the main shop. Got to keep your stacks from getting mixed up. Okay, so these are 9091s, four over. So we use about four tenths over on there. We use standard on the main shaft because I honed it to fit. And it's slightly loose on that one. It, I could have honed it out and go to four. You want me to hone the bearing right side, get it more round and go to four? I think we're in good, good shape. Okay. We can clean it up, make it more round and make it bigger. I just go up to a four tenths instead of a standard. Okay, so now we're going to do the, this one comes out, get those right there, okay, now we flip this over and do the other side. Washer doesn't fit in the shaft, that's not a good sign. Yeah. Okay. So we need ninety seventy five. I'm going to go right to the 9076. I'm not even going to screw around with the 95 or the 75. Pretty soon you get a feel for it, huh? Well, I figure there's something smaller than it should be, or bigger. This was small, that was big. So If that was small on this side, it's going to be small on that side, too. So we're just going to jump right to the big one. Now, this might be a little bit tight, but we'll find out. doesn't work we just go back standard. If it's too loose we go back up. We have to go back in the old bag of stuff and find some old, old bearings that are big. Now you're doing this at home you can buy all these bearings if you can find them different sizes and you can just do it all yourself. You pay more money for parts, but look at all the labor you save by doing it yourself over having some dumbass doesn't know what he's doing do it. And doesn't care. So, even though you got more upfront money on buying parts, it's cheaper in the long run. Now see so you want that washer to be under the surface, but see it's barely under the surface. Yeah. So that's pretty close. If it sticks above the surface it locks the rollers up, that would be a problem. And if you don't want to do it yourself, send it to Tatro Machine. No, I don't want to do it. Imperial Avenue. Twenty seven so, what? See there you go. See what's going on here? Twenty four what? What's our address here? This isn't gonna work. <laughs> well you chose the wrong size. They made this side of the gear too small. Oh, not when the rollers fell out. When the 
controller fell out. Maybe. Just heard one go. Yeah, I don't know when, I don't know when it came out. Try it again. Getting that washer when go in that hole, that's not a good sign. I said that. I would be lucky if standard, I don't think standard's going to fit in this hole. Then these were screwed. That's how these cluster gears when they first came out were. You had two options. You had way too big and way too small. And I used to get them both. This is only four tenths up. So if we're lucky, the standard will do the trick. Six. Now I'm doing these three at a time, but it's pretty difficult to do three at a time. Two at a time you can count pretty good. When you do three at a time, it takes longer to keep them straight and even. So you end up spending more time than if you just went two at a time. If you two at a time, you're going to have to look at them hard. I used to stick them in there. One at a time works too, but it takes longer. You can do two uh, just about as quick as you can do one. So I click it goes, you don't have to really look at it. When you're doing three, it takes a lot longer. Doing four at a time is just about impossible. Tight. Yeah, but it'll work in. Just loosen it out. Put it in the direction it actually goes in. Taking up the gap. Sticks in about that far stuck. That right there. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it's just looser than the other side was. Okay, so it appears to be working. Now you go ahead and put it all together. <clears throat> Sticks to my finger more than it does on the side. <laughs> You know, this has a big gap in there? Yes. You can take one of those small ones. To fill the void. Yes. 
has a 9084 bearing. Goes right in there, too. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that, but it doesn't hurt either. Just let me see whenever we're moving around in there. Okay. Wow, nice. It's, it's not free spinning because it's got grease in it, but it's free spinning. Right. You can see how it bounces back and forth yeah. and do it. All right, so that works. in here. You gotta grease it out, make sure it stays put. Keep that in there. It's pretty damn deep too. I don't want to admit it's so deep. That keeps the uh, counter shaft from bouncing around. Gotcha. Now the kicker. Be back in a minute. 